A gift from God. Welcome to New Story in English. Today I will tell you a very beautiful short story. The name of the story is A Gift from God. Let's start reading this beautiful story. One day, when I was in high school, I saw a classmate named Kyle walking home. He had many books with him, carrying them all. I wondered, why is he taking all his books home on a Friday? He must really like reading. I had an exciting weekend planned with parties and the football game with my friends the next day. So I didn't think much about it and continued walking. But then, I noticed a group of kids running towards Kyle. They charged at him, knocked his books out of his hands, and made him fall into the dirt. His glasses flew off and landed in the grass nearby. When he looked up, Sadness filled his eyes. I felt so sorry for him that I ran over to help. He was searching for his glasses, and I saw a tear in his eye. As I gave him back his glasses, I said, Those guys are mean. They should find something better to do. He looked at me and smiled, saying, Thanks. His smile showed genuine gratitude. I helped him pick up his books and asked where he lived. It turned out he lived near me, so I wondered why I had never seen him before. He explained that he used to go to a different school. I would have never thought of becoming friends with someone from a different school. We topped all the way home, and I carried his books for him. It turned out that Kyle was actually a cool guy. I invited him to play football with my friends and me on Saturday, and he happily agreed. We spent the whole weekend together, and the more I got to know Kyle, the more I liked him. My friends felt the same way. When Monday came, there was Kyle with his big stack of books again. I stopped him and said, Wow, Kyle, you're going to have really strong muscles carrying those books every day. He just laughed and gave me half of them. Over the next four years, Kyle and I became best friends. When we were seniors, we started thinking about college. Kyle chose Georgetown, and I got accepted to Duke with a football scholarship. We knew that distance would never come between us. Kyle planned to become a doctor while I pursued business. Kyle became the top student in our class. I often teased him about being a smart person, but he took it in good humor. He had to give a speech at graduation and I was relieved it wasn't me having to stand up there and speak. On graduation day, I saw Kyle looking great. High school had transformed him into a confident young man. He filled out and even looked cool in his glasses. He had more dates than me and all the girls adored him. I couldn't help feeling a little jealous. 
But then, as Cal began his speech, I patted him on the back and said, You'll do great, buddy. He looked at me with gratitude and smiled. Thanks, he said. During his speech, Cal cleared his throat and started talking about gratitude and the importance of friends. He shared a story that left me in disbelief. He revealed that on the day we first met, he had been planning to end his own life over the weekend. He had even cleaned out his locker to spare his mom from doing it later. Carrying his stuff home, he was at his lowest point. Then he looked at me with gratitude and said, Thankfully, I was saved. My friend saved me from doing something terrible. The crowd gasped, shocked by the revelation from this popular and good-looking boy. I saw Kyle's mom and dad looking at me, their smiles filled with gratitude. In that moment, I truly understood the depth of what had happened. Never underestimate the power of your actions. With one small gesture, you can change someone's life, for better or worse. God puts us in each other's lives to make an impact, to be a blessing to one another. Look for God in others. Remember, each day is a gift from God. Don't forget to say, thank you. The moral of the story is that the best gift you can give someone is true friendship. True friendship shows its strength in difficult times and helps us overcome challenges. Let us offer friendship and support to those we love and need in our lives. The End Hope you have enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And find more fascinating and exciting stories from the description below the video.